everyone, my name is Karis. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you clicked on this video, most likely you are either experiencing an unplanned pregnancy or someone you know is going through a pregnancy that they were not planning on. No matter where you're at in your journey, I hope you find this video helpful. So currently as I'm filming this, I am 24 weeks pregnant with identical twin girls. And I can now say that with a smile on my face and be excited about it. But when I first found out I was pregnant, I can tell you I was not excited about it. I did not have a smile on my face. In fact, I was crying for most of my first trimester because it was not a pregnancy that I had planned on. So I've done a video on this. My husband and I actually together did a video where we talked about our pregnancy story. You can check that out after this if you want to for more details about our personal story. But pretty much we got married September 2023 and found out we were pregnant by the beginning of November of 2023. We had planned on waiting at least five years to have kids. So to be pregnant just a little over a month after our wedding was a shock to us. And it was especially very difficult for me to handle because I have had just this insane fear of pregnancy ever since I can remember. In the video we talked about the traumas I've endured that had caused me to have this crazy fear. But long story short, I did not want to be pregnant. I did not want to have kids anytime soon. I was not the type of girl that grew up playing with dolls, wishing I could be a mother. I didn't even grow up playing with toys, honestly, because I was adopted from Ethiopia, Africa. And when you live in a third world country, you end up growing up pretty, pretty fast. <laughs> So that might have had to do a little bit with why I didn't want to be pregnant because I didn't even know what it was like to be a kid, honestly. So it really scared me to think about raising a child. So maybe you have a similar story. Maybe your story is completely different. No matter where you're at, I just want you to know, first of all, you're not alone. I just remember feeling extremely, extremely alone in my emotions when I first found out I was pregnant because most women, they were super excited when they find out they're pregnant. I see it all the time on social media, the crazy elaborate pregnancy announcements, the women just like jumping up and down with so much joy and excitement. And you feel guilty as a woman when you don't feel that same way when you find out you're pregnant. I also quickly want to just say pregnancy is a gift. I am so grateful that my body can bear children and that I get to have this privilege. I know there's a lot of women out there who don't get to have this privilege and who have tried and tried and tried and couldn't. For example, my mother, she could never have her own kids. She has adopted all of us and she loves us as her own, but she had cancer at a young age that enabled her to have kids. So I just wanna make it very clear that I am very grateful that my body is able to do this. However, it doesn't mean it's easy still, and it doesn't make you, me, or anybody a bad person for not being extremely excited about your pregnancy when you first find out. So that being said, I just want to talk a little bit about how to cope with an unplanned pregnancy, what I did to help me, and hopefully these tips will help you as well. So the first one I've already kind of mentioned and that is just know you're not alone. I know it can seem like you must be crazy because every other female seems super excited when she talks about her pregnancy and so you wish it could be like that but you're not there. And to my surprise, when I shared about my genuine thoughts and feelings of not being excited, I found out there was actually a lot of women who have felt that same way before, but they just kept it to themselves because they were afraid of the judgment they would have received. The other tip I have for you, which kind of goes hand in hand with the last one is let yourself grief. It is so important to feel the emotions you're feeling right now instead of beating yourself up because you're not excited or trying to just hide it so that you can just be happy like the way you should be. No, pregnancy is a huge news and this isn't to be dramatic, but like your life changes overnight when you find out you're pregnant. It's okay to grieve what you're about to lose, which is the life that you lived before all of a sudden being pregnant. 
I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, I feel so sick right now. My first trimester was terrible and I would just be so upset because I just wanted to get up and have a normal day and not be throwing up and I couldn't even do that. I just felt like somebody just took over my body and I was no longer Karis. And luckily it got better in my second trimester. But during those first trimester days, it was so hard to accept my new reality. So it's okay to let yourself grieve those times. The other tip I have for you is open up to people about how you genuinely feel and make sure those people are safe people. So I wouldn't go and just tell anybody how you don't want to be pregnant because there are some people out there who will make you feel terrible for even admitting that. So find someone that's safe. For me, it was my husband and my best friends and some of my family members. I was genuinely honest with them about how I felt about being pregnant. I was not trying to sugarcoat it and say like, oh, I'm just so grateful. I'm so happy that blah, blah. No, I was honest. I, was, I told them I was so scared. I cried. I shared all my fears with them. I was angry for a while and I showed that to them. They knew how I was feeling and they still loved me. They still accepted me and it let me process my genuine feelings. I think what would happen most of the times in situations like this is women feel like they need to be happy and so even if they're scared, angry, whatever, they put on a front but because of that they never actually process through their genuine emotions and those emotions don't go away. They come back up. You may start resenting your kids later on. You may start resenting your husband. You need to work through those emotions properly so they don't come out in extremely unhealthy ways later on. And going in hand in hand with that, seek therapy. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I would have done without therapy during those especially first trimester days. Luckily, I had already been doing therapy for a while so I had an established therapist but when I found out I was pregnant I was seeing her once a week sometimes twice a week because I needed somebody else who's a trained professional to be able to be there for me and help me see things clearly because in those moments I couldn't see them super clearly and sometimes it's hard for family members to step in and help they're just not trained in these types of things and so having my therapist oh my gosh it helped so much and if you don't have a safe person to talk to therapists are safe they're not there to judge you they're not gonna make fun of you or be upset at you for not accepting this pregnancy or being happier you can be yourself around therapists they've heard it all going through therapy really helps you understand the why behind your emotions through my therapy sessions, I was able to identify why I was so scared to be pregnant, why I was so angry, all the fears I had when it comes to being a mother. And now I actually know and I understand where all of that comes from. And so I'm able to better cope with the whole situation because I understand why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. And eventually I was able to go from anger, sad, upset, to feeling genuinely joyful about this process, especially once the sickness part ended. I have felt so good about this whole thing. And if you told me I would be feeling like that a few months ago, I would have laughed at your face (laughs) because I was just so sure there's no way I was gonna ever arrive to this place. And I'm sure there's gonna continue to be hard moments here and there. I still have moments where I just freak out. (laughs) But overall, I have worked through much of those emotions so that I can come back to this moment of genuinely feeling okay with the situation. And I don't think I could be here if I had not let myself go to those dark places and work through those feelings. And I think the last thing I would tell anybody that's going through an unplanned pregnancy is 
take it one day at a time i know in the beginning when it all hits you that you're pregnant your mind starts spiraling at least that's what mine did i just all of a sudden started thinking about oh my gosh how is this gonna affect my life i don't feel financially ready my husband and i just got married i am in no position to be having kids we need to move out soon holy crap how are we gonna afford to have twins like it was just chaos <laughs> but what really helped was when i was like okay i have no idea how all of those will be answered so i'm just gonna take it one day at a time what can i genuinely control right now i can't control most things but today this is what i can do this week this is what i can do this month as a couple this is what we can do and i had to just tackle it little by little by little and also another thing to keep in mind is pregnancy takes a while the babies bake in there for a while like nine months so you don't have to have it all figured out tomorrow you have time and i have to remind myself that still till this day randomly i'll just freak out i'm like oh my gosh the nursery's not done we still gotta purchase cribs and we gotta put them together and we gotta do blah 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 and i'm like hold on it's okay i'm only 24 weeks pregnant i still have like three months so remember that you do have time and i think god designed it like that on purpose because i cannot imagine if pregnancy only lasted like three months like oh i would not i would not be ready i need those full nine months so all that being said if you are in this season right now where you are just devastated you're so scared you're upset you're angry whatever it is i want you to know it does get better and I know it's so hard to see it right now because I've been there. <laughs> I could not see it, but it does. So I hope this helps you. Just please know you're not alone. Please don't beat yourself up. I know somebody out here is going to comment, well, you shouldn't have sex or well, you should use protection if you don't want to be pregnant, blah, blah, blah. I know. I was the first person to have said stuff like that before I experienced it myself. But the truth is, you can get pregnant even if you take all the precautions in the world. Now, before I leave you, I do want to just mention a few other very practical tips that I found extremely helpful. The first one is joining a Facebook group. I joined a group of women who are giving birth in the same month as I am, so July 2024. And that group has been extremely helpful, especially in the beginning when I just had so many questions because I just knew nothing about pregnancy. I was able to ask so many questions questions on there and everybody is so supportive maybe you're a teen and you're experiencing teen pregnancy there's a lot of great facebook groups out there for that i would recommend maybe purchasing some books there's great books out there great authors find people on social media maybe who are going through that same journey personally it's been such a healing process for me to share my journey because i have found so many other women who followed me who've admitted i am exactly where you were at and these videos were helping me because i never thought me sharing my journey would mean much to other people but when you open up you'll realize you're really not alone in this world there's a lot of other people who feel very very similar to how you feel and then just in general pregnancy is hard maybe you're having a really rough first trimester so do whatever it is that feels good on your body if that's a lot of rest do it it was so stubborn in the beginning. I'm like, I don't want to just sleep all day. I need to be productive. And I just couldn't. So don't beat yourself up. Just let your body do what it needs to do because it is creating a human being after all. <laughs> it's not an easy job. So really be gentle and go easy on yourself. Okay. I think that's all i got for today if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be making more pregnancy content like this in the future and if you want to you can check out the video my husband and i have already done on our whole pregnancy story <laughs> i'll have that linked in the description below and you can also follow me over on instagram at karispell underscore i'm fairly active on there yeah that is all i have and until next time bye